The title of this mini-podcast is Predictable Predictability. These two words have been occupying space in my mind for some time and seem to be begging for some sort of explanation. So I came up with one. There seems to be a correlation between predictable and predictability. One seems more fact-based and the other, like the weatherman, hit and miss. The correlation goes something like this. Seasons are predictable, but the predictability of snow in late May in New York City is not. But it gets more complicated when you're not talking about the weather. For example, human nature is predictable, but the predictability of a specific storm isn't. I'm always sadly amused when someone tries to explain why someone did something awful, like a mass shooting. When we see the backstory on the individual, most of us could have predicted they were an accident waiting to happen. But the predictability of when they would self-destruct is a guessing game, again, like the weather. You may have a better guessing mechanism than others when it comes to predicting future events that are unpredictable, but even you get the unexpected wind blowing in your face. So what's the best use of predictable and predictability? When you have the recognition that something is about to happen, but you don't know when, that's the time to plan for contingencies. For example, life insurance is one of those plans. You know you're going to go, but not when. Planning for contingencies will never happen when we buy into the illusion that predictable events will only happen to other people. It's a game of denial we all play to some degree. When you see dark clouds on the horizon, that's the time to seek shelter not bet against the odds. When we don't consider contingencies, we're at the mercy of the elements. This applies to all areas of our lives, family, business, careers, relationships, etc. The great musical poet Bob Dylan wrote these words, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. We're all pretty adept at predicting the predictable, but we come up short preparing contingencies. The old advice is pretty apt here. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, you'd be well served to have a plan to duck, especially if these wild ducks look like they're about to fly overhead and make a deposit on you. When you hope against hope, you hang yourself with your own rope. If contingency is not currently in your dictionary, may I highly recommend that you buy an up-to-date volume. That way you become like a savvy sailor and can move out of harm's way, no matter which way the wind blows. All the best, John.